pushing that button. Button is now depressed. Get the announcement set and posted. There we go. We are Leve. We are Levi on both sides. Oh shit, did I uh, update giveaways? I think you need to do a uh, move bot. I did it. There it it's is. open. It's open. They're all open. Here, we'll even close and open that one. They're all open. All right, quiet on the set. on the set you're listening to wrfb radio free britannia coming to you live from deltona florida with two idiots misinterpreting the news so you don't have to lunch with laz and jack Everybody, this is Laz. And this is Jack. Welcome to another fun and exciting edition of Lunch with Laz and Jack, where we interpret the Shroud of the Avatar news so you don't have to do anything other than question your own personal life choices and ours because they deserve to be questioned every single day. This is the last episode of the week because Laz is going on vacation to the, the tip of the wang of America uh, where he's going to be doing oh, weird things to the, the wang. Not, not to the uh, tip. Okay. Close to the tip. Key yeah, West so would be the, the tip. Okay, so you... Well, uh, wouldn't Key West be the dribbles <laughs> off the tip? <laughs> it depends. I... I mean, depends on whether or not you're on the the mainland or the connecting little islands, right? Well, yeah, yeah. But the key, I, the, yeah. well, let's just say the keys then would be. Okay, the the, the, the keys are the dribble. Well, the first first keys are on the right at the end, so you know, <laughs> right at the tip. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, giveaways. So, so why are they called the? Why are they hey, called the keys? I have no idea. I'm sure you could look I that mean, up. Because, because it, it, it would it would be Q U A Y S if it was the uh, Please? port related. No, it's pronounced keys. <laughs> so so maybe maybe it is a a, a uh, anglicism of uh, the word keys, um, which would be ship pulling alongside. Possibly. And, um, yeah, but that, that's what a key is instead of a, 
Giveaways are open! Or Exclamation like bundle me on both streams. Both streams, mine and Jack's. Yes. Exclamation I love free shit on my side for a Steam Key giveaway. And on Jack's side, pound the boots hay That's for right. a chance to win. That's right. But yes, last show of the week. We will be back uh, Monday the 14th. After I spend the week down south with my pops, my dads, yes. and get going down to do the annual hangout and cleaning of the house and other shit that needs to be done. At, Are you uh, going to come back with a car again? A new car? No, not not, not a new car, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, that, that was last year you came back with a car. That was two years ago. It's been that long. Uh, yes. Two years. I mean, it, it seems like yesterday that last started driving again. So, Conjurer Dragon, with the information there, you want to read that? Okay. Key West got its name from the Spanish explorers who found human bones there. Uh, the original name given to the island was Cayo Huesel, translate to Bone Key. The Spanish corrupted the Taino word Cayo and added Huesel, meaning small island. Oh, so Cayo. So Key West is a corruption of uh, uh, yeah. small bones. Yes. Yep. 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 All right. Anyway, welcome to today's hey, show, th boys and girls. It is th Thursday. Thanks for October googling 3rd. that for yeah. us. I, I'm deleting AWS them. resources, so yeah. hopefully I don't delete anything from the wrong group. I wrong system. I hope this okay, is getting logged well. somewhere. I guess uh, since uh, they're talking about this in uh, world chat, uh, is oh, this universe uh, chat? Yeah, uh, Steve Cesaria is talking about it, but the post was posted by Sandra Cesaria, so I'm assuming husband-wife team here. Y yes, and uh, yeah, I I. Don't quite agree with this, but uh, let's let's talk about it. Okay, so the question becomes: For a player-owned town in offline mode, that mode that is single-player without. Player own towns. And Sandra says, it would be nice to be able to place a POT when in offline mode, even if it was just the one pot and had only one location, preferably near Brittany. Then all of us poppers can experience being a governor or someone wanting to buy a pot can practice first and offline at having one. As a side note, could you match the XP in offline to the XP in online? Many thanks. Yeah. Okay. First off, let's talk about the first one. No. Offline mode is not supposed to support POTs, but you can own every single lot that is for sale. Ah, uh, but yeah, you know, it has its caveats. But first off, Waldo hitting us up with three hundred bits. Oh. On a Thursday here, so we have to thank Waldo for his donation and go get him a mystery game key. And if oh, you yes, want to be do. like Waldo, all you got to do is Tip donate the 300, 300 bits. bits. That's right. He's going to get a copy of Mini Thief on Steam, and that is worth uh, $4.99. Yes, $4.99. that on sale? No, yeah. that is its retail value. But thank you, Waldo. How's things up there in uh, Seattle? Or should oh, I say Washington? Hopefully the, the weather's night. Nice. Okay. Nice and rainy? And rainy in Seattle. Ni ni nice, nice and cool. And rainy. And rainy. Yes. Yes. Um, there you go. Well <laughs> offline mode has much more drops of codas than online, and the NPC merchants pay more than the offline online merchants to be able to make a profit without PC buyers. Yes, those are both accurate 
And there are tools that will allow you to actually edit the amount of XP that you have. And it, it is, as far as I understand, just a simple uh, go edit one file and you add a, a bunch of XP to your stuff. So there's no real need to go yeah. match. Back from a Bavarian-style town in the mountains for a brief vacation. That's cool. I'm headed on vacation yes. after today. And he's off to his Thursday workout in about a half hour, as usual, nice. for Thursday. But uh, good, yes. good to see you guys getting out and taking time for yourselves. I'm going to be doing that starting right after this show. Got to finish oh, packing yes. up and get ready to leave in the morning. Right. Hey, but, you want to go uh, do my jury duty for me on Monday? I don't think so. Are you sure? Are you positive? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. There's even an editor available to edit offline mode. He just said that. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That's all I did. Well-deserved uh, break for both of us, absolutely. I have to work throughout this. I, <laughs> I, I get a vacation for blast. Yeah, there you go. We, but, we, which uh, is entertaining in itself, I mean, but I, which means I, I'll be working directly through lunch completely. And so, and then, and then the side note of could you match up XP and offline to the XP and online? Many thanks. Also, no, there is a reason why they are different in both offline and online. And uh, let's go to uh, chat. Uh, here and bring bring up universe yeah. chat where we're having this conversation right now so that we can discuss what's going on there. Oh, well, what 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 are we going for in the chat? Uh, where Steve chimes in to start with, uh, check out the wish list POT and offline mode. Uh, Drizzit says, isn't QA available with that function? No. no. On Steam, test environment? No. No. Is that uh, the for pot in offline mode? Yeah, I do, but I don't have Steam. It's yeah. Yeah, 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 offline mode. I mean, maybe, maybe they can actually add, add a certificate, maybe. Uh, I mean, for purchasing a POT in offline mode for Kodos or whatever. So, Ritz and says, then the why? I thought the point it, of a but... city was to show off yeah. to others and sell stuff. And Steve thinks that, no, the point of a city in town is to deco it. <clears throat> yeah. well, Drizz, it says, not sure so, why you would want that. Well, you the, can the do other that thing on is. QA. <clears throat> th they would actually have to build a lot more logic. One they would have to like build, and, and the logic is uh, going to be creating like a deed that would allow the placement of a POT. Then the it would have to automatically build the POT based off of the template. No, 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 no. no. And then the rotation you're, you're, you're of the you're template. The whole point. The point it, is there's yeah, one static POT. That's there, and when you load in offline mode, you have access to it. You the, don't the, need to the, do anything special. You, you, to you, it. you know what the question becomes immediately <clears> after <throat> that. But well, I want a different template. I wanted to test the water well, one. Well, that, I wanted yeah. to test yeah. that 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 be, it becomes a cascade of I, here well, are the different options. Hence, why we a don't have it, and b it's not yeah. going to happen. Second off, yeah. if you want to play governor, maybe it'd be nice if you like, you know, cozy it up to somebody like myself or, you know, some other player and become, who become a steward, become a steward. Now, you know, you want to play governor, you know, and I understand your point that you can go to any NPC town, uh, any other town in game and buy all the lots up because you can buy yes, photos in, in the yes. bank. But you can't play slots. You can't make the town the way you want it. You can't place other odd deco. Uh, you know, you can't place your own NPCs. I understand all that. But um, in all fairness to those of us who have become POT owners, we didn't get a chance to play with it. 
We either decided to become owners and we bit the bullet and invested in it, or we didn't. So uh, I'm just going to say, yeah, not an idea that's A, going to happen, and B, uh, secondary side note, matching up the XP and offline to the XP and online. No, there's a reason why they're different. In offline mode, you're working by yourself and you have three companions to use and you can get companions to do 90% of your bullshit for you. And again, Kodos drop easier. You can buy Kodos uh, directly from a vendor above the bank. It, it, it's a whole different universe in the single player. And uh, there you go, Manners. You tell tell him he's in he's in universe chat. Tell him he he can buy your POT. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. He can buy it. Yeah. Yes, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, but. Uh, I don't know how much. Let me ask. <laughs> I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. And then sell it to someone else. Yes. And then I don't even know how to yeah. pronounce this name. Which one? Zwergnes, who just followed us a minute ago. Oh. Bergnase. This is a Deutscher name. It's a German name. Ah, thank you, thank you. That's why I can't pronounce it. Was ist diesen Scheißer? Ach du Himmel. Mein Deutsch ist nicht sehr gut. Thank you, Kondra, for the uh, information. And yeah. welcome to the uh, stream. Yes. Welcome. Yes. yes. I think we covered... Uh, both mine and Laz's uh, German. Uh, well, that actually, thank you, again, th thank you for that. That uh, I, I I spent two years <laughs> in Germany. I lived in Bitburg on the Air Force Base there, and I learned the three most important words in German. Beer. Uh, yeah, it's beer, toilet, and taxi. With those three words, you can do anything you need to do, and they're the same in English pretty much as they are in German. So. You can ask for a taxi to get to the bar. You can get to the bar and ask for a beer. And, you, and when you had enough beer, you can ask where the toilet is and then ask for a taxi to get home. So, <laughs> And you can always ask where something is. Yes. Woher ist das bit? Is, uh, uh, but yeah. Uh, 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 but, uh, also, also uh, there, there's a difference between the bar and the pub. Right, Conjurer? Are you going to go join getting the snug? Yeah, a pub, yeah, pub, it, a pub, a pub has better seats. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh. A bar is but, where uh, you, uh, you can find women who are willing to solicit you for interesting stuff. A pub is oh, where you go to it, drink. Yes. <laughs> it costs a little bit more. Yes. Yeah, so, so you always want at the bar. Um, I, I, I was I was found in both places. Let's just put it that way. Okay, okay. Uh, but but the the decision for the request for player owned town in offline mode is a lot more work than uh, Sandra I think realizes as far as what the devs would have to do wow. to meet the need there. Um, and it wow. that. That that's really not worth it because POT is online mode only um, because it's whatever because uh, Steve Steve is just on a silly silly roll now he's talking about smelting your gold coins to ore yes the ore yeah but what, what what he doesn't know is that at one time and it is possible in this game because I used to have the printing press to do well, that where you could take the ore well, and make no, your no, own gold you, coins. You had you we had the reverse of that. We couldn't melt gold coins we, into we could ore. Melt ore into gold coins. But, That's what I said. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so so what his wish list request is is smelt gold coins to ore. Yeah. Hey, th that that would be a uh, it, uh, uh, a good idea because that becomes a gold sink. Uh, that Just would that gold. would be an interesting one to take gold and uh, turn it into ore. Um, I just don't see yeah. enough use for gold in the game. No. Uh, to be honest with you. Yeah. 
I, 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 that well, I mean that that's related to gear durability, not requiring. I mean, so you don't have to go buy gear all the time. Um, well, repair kits and crown fixes make make the gold obsolete with that. Now he also mentions yes, uh, smelting kodos, uh, which would be a little freaking expensive for that. Uh, you, yes, you, you, you want you want you want to spend some money on some gold ore. I'll be more than happy to sell it to you. Just come see me because yeah. I've got it yeah. and I'll sell it to you cheap. And uh, you you can spend your hard earned dollars that way. <laughs> Yep. That's the same difference. You, you spend money on Kodos to melt them down. Well, spend your money, I just give you the gold. How about that? Yeah. Yes. Now, I also uh, wanted to chime in here. Uh, Dark Blue Monkey uh, says uh, earlier uh, in my, dis not my Discord chat, but my... Uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, my creator dashboard chat, and I guess my Twitch chat. And he was sorry he hasn't been able to join this stream. His life's been coming at him fast. He joined okay. the Discord chat during the stream too, but he's not as fast and punchy with the jokes as Lomir. And we forgive you for that, that dark blue monkey. I know you got the little ones to take care of there, but uh, always and, good and to see you. And sometimes you. You have to pay attention because you know neither Laz nor I do that. Yes. <laughs> and I uh, also got a note from Stymie that after uh, he broke his arm, his wrist, whatever it was that he broke, uh, he's been reassigned. So he's not going mm -hmm. to be able to catch the show except for Fridays, in which I also told him that he ain't going to have to worry about that for a couple weeks. Yeah. So. Uh, Stymie, if you're listening to this after the fact later on today or tomorrow is, uh, you know, feel better. Don't work too hard. And, uh, you know, if that's all you can make, that's all you can make. I know you usually rush home or, you know, you get off and you try and listen to us and, uh, on your way home while you're driving before you get home and you can actually get here on the lot. But, uh, we, we understand, you know. All I can say is thank you guys for the support because you guys have been around forever and a day, as well as many people who are here on the lot. We've got Maynard on the lot. We've got Hawkwind, Lomir, Dark Blue Monkey, and others. I don't see Conjurer here today. Uh, Not on yet. Floating around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he's here in Discord. Yes. So, yeah. Hey, uh, uh, he, he, he's, he's given us the German les lessons. That's right. But uh, just just want to say, you know, thank you to you know, those of you guys who send me private messages and you know, share your life with us. Uh, also, another one of those people is Waldo. Is uh, Waldo's one of them people who I've actually also met in real life. Uh, met his new wife when uh, they got together, and uh, you know, always good to just keep up on you know what people are doing and uh, stay in touch with friends who I've made through this game. So. Uh, just thanks to all you on that quick note. Anyway, back to Steve Cesaria. No, 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 and no. There are your answers. Yeah. <laughs> What's up with all these negatives? Shroud of the Avatar, baby. That shroud, baby. <laughs> that shroud. Silly uh, request. Yes. And then watch, watch watch them actually turn around and say, you know what? We're going to go ahead and do this for you. And yeah. it's like, that's a ton of work that you just opened up for yourselves. Yeah. Um, G Gaylorn's um, got another silly request. <laughs> Thank you, Waldo. <laughs> Thank you very oh, much. Oh, Gaylorn with wanting an outside hanging disco ball. Just contact the Alpha and he'll take care of you. Only work inside buildings and only with some gazebos pavilions. Can we please get a way to hang a disco ball in an outside area for a dance floor? Or sell one in the Kodo store that is sitting on a tripod for outside placement? That would be marvelous. Because marvelous, the, darling. The, marvelous. What, what is the one of the Biggest complaints about shroud gatherings. Uh, not enough disco balls. 
<laughs> no, I'm going to go with Shroud of the AFK Dance Party. Yeah. Because that's all it is. I mean, how many... How many dance parties? Let's 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 go in game and uh, let's uh, let let's. How many how many dance parties were was this you? <laughs> so you gotta wait till you go AFK. I'm dancing, man. I'm dancing. <laughs> But I mean, it's like uh, we can we could, we can make it a better dance for you. Uh, yeah. But like, how, how many how many dance parties was that? That it's like them. you'd start dancing and then just walk away from the computer, not do a damn thing. It's that 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 is the majority of the in game experience for everybody. At a dance party. That's not a good argument. Half of your viewers sitting there are, are AFK too. Yes. <laughs> yes. So yeah, it's they, like... They, they're, they're actually, you know, engaged in the conversation. Like Lomir, yeah. Unless Lomir got up and went Sometimes. to get some coffee, yeah. Yeah, Hell, Lomir, are the, you, the, you the, here? The, the worst offender is... One of our hosts here in game who you know has has the most AFK time on this slot. I wouldn't you know, know who that was. Uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm, <laughs> as I'm over here working <laughs> and doing yeah. stuff. Yeah, Jack's, but Jack's playing with kitties. Yeah, well, he's sitting AFK yes, doing the news. And, well, we do have a cat paw way up there. With, with the pink beans. I can see some pink beans <laughs> and a white foot <laughs> sticking out of a box. I think but I yes. Restart the computer. Yet now even my Firefox is frozen. I can hear you, but nothing to, can do nothing anymore. Uh-oh. Restart good. the computer. Uh, NVIDIA driver updates, too. Try restarting the web page. Yes. Or start. Are you on Firefox? Yes, Firefox, but it doesn't react in any way. Either, no either, either, either reset, reset, restart the web page itself, or just restart Firefox. And Lomir, it helps if your mic is where it should be. You mean near his mouth? Yeah, yeah so I got, yeah, I guess that would help. Yeah. I, I oh, know either, you like it, to flip the mic up and put it away from you, but <laughs> yeah, e e either either restart the web website uh, that you're on, or um, restart Firefox. F5. I found the culprit. The culprit. I have seven instances of Firefox running. Oh well, that'll do it to you, buddy. That's it. That'll do it to you. That's it. Oh, hold, yeah. on. Hold, on, hold on. Yeah, only seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine instances of Chrome. And some of them have like thirty bro <laughs> thirty tabs open. No, did not help. I'm going to restart the PC. Bye. Okay. We'll right. see you in a few minutes, Conjure. I'm going to say, I, I got you beat by one tab. I got 30 tabs open right now. Oh, the, no, no, that's not... That was the windows, not the tabs. Well, I have I have 30 tabs in three different monitors. So I have like five on this one. I have like seven on this one. I have like 14 on <laughs> this one. Yeah. Last. So I have three different instances I, open. Uh, I, I, I have like 58 tabs open on two separate... Um, um, Laz, do you do you really want to compare the open tabs with me? I, I have 54, 54 <laughs> open I'm, tabs. I'm not, on I'm not counting the porn tabs, so me either. Well, I mean, anyway, the, here 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 is one window. <laughs> that that is one window. 
And remember, yeah. I have so like I I have ones that actually have like sixty tabs open on Windows. So yeah, I, it's I, like, I, I, open I, there. Considering I had I, thirty I, windows open on Edge, I have two separate things of 54 tabs open and i, I i'm not i'm not going to be able to and i'm not i'm not even going to tell you how many i have on firefox oh yeah it's it, it's insane yeah. you, you like you start opening tabs and you, you just you just continue to add to them and it, it just builds up yeah you like you like i want to save that one for later I want to save that one for later. I want to save that one for later. And so on and so on and so on and so on to yeah, infinity. Well, bookmark, 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 dude. Why, why you would leave Yeah, bookmark? book, bookmarks, book, bookmarks are, are, are irrelevant. Now, you, you want to see my bookmarks tabs? Well, that's, that's, that's even <sighs> yeah, more yeah. insane. Yeah. What about yeah, cat Martin's... videos, Tina says? <laughs> but what, All what the about, cat videos. What yeah. about streamer bundles? What about those? Streamer bundle on my side is going to be going to Morkin. Let, let's... So let's say congrats to Morkin. Lomir. Oh, Lomir is getting okay. himself a streamer bundle. Congratulations, Lomir. Uh, I get to send mail to Morkin. What about Mindy? Uh, well, it's, it, it's not Mork and Mindy. It's Morkin. Mindy. He, he, he is Mork <laughs> in Mindy. He is inside of Mindy, okay? He is having a... a who, 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 who wouldn't want to be inside Mindy? Hmm? Yeah. There, there's a show I would have watched. Mark yeah, inside Mindy. Mindy. Would, definitely wouldn't <laughs> fly today. Nanu, yes. Nanu. <laughs> Brings a whole new meaning yeah. to that one. <laughs> okay, so where... Okay, which organization am I looking for? Okay, All right, let's that let's, one. let's get another silly one out of the way before we get to skills. <laughs> okay, let's have a new dungeon totem wish list. With talk of more work on dungeons, I couldn't help but imagine some fun new totem possibilities. You, Ghost you really, totems. You really have way too much faith, Oswald. Way too yes. much faith in the things that you read. Yes. Okay, I need to switch to US East 2 and then delete that thing. Um, the Shadow Essences plus Ancient Essences yield a Shadow Creature. Um, shadow creature totem and a vial of distilled ether yields an essentia creature. Yes, the ethereal creatures that spawn in Lost Vale. Um, yeah, um, let's see. How many different projects, um, do we have currently ongoing? Um, that have not been completed as of yet. And, I was uh, going to say, how many different projects is Ravlox working on that are not complete? And then think about that before you think that you're actually going to see him live stream uh, working on some dungeons this month. Think about yeah. that. I saw him last night working on some. Oh, did you? Yeah, he was, he was on late last night. On a live stream? Yeah. Really? Oh, I gotta go look at this now. I didn't keep it on very long because it was like, I was, it was kind of boring. Let, let, let's see. See if uh, there's uh, a yeah. trout. He was working on something. Oh, oh shit. Oh. oh, he actually did stream last night randomly? Yeah. Well, dev uh, work stream. Yeah, which it looks like he was actually working on a cloak. Yes. Wait, which right. should have taken like five minutes because it's changing two colors. 
Well, you know how complicated that is. And he was yeah. actually working on a dungeon. Okay, so I take that back. He actually did, but... And, 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 but no snap to grid stuff. Yeah. Yeah, he was working on adding those like so, so, column type of things when I saw him. So, it is, it's not a new asset he's creating, so what is this? Or is this a new dungeon piece? I'm guessing this is the way overdue Lord of the Isle dungeon that he's been working on for God knows how long. I don't know. Oh, the the one that was due four, three years ago? Something like that. I mean, I'm just taking a guess here. I'm not listening to it. I'm just browsing it real yeah. quick here. Something and, something we might see in, 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 in release three or four. Three or four hundred? Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, shocking. Shocking. Yes. Uh, yeah, again, it, he's working on something. Whether it actually makes it finished into the game is another whole story, Doug Blumhouse. <clears throat> Whether it ever gets bug tested or... Yeah. Um, but yeah. And, and But why, why choose the most basic wall texture? Because dungeons. Like, default wall texture. For, for what's supposed to be Lord of the Isle. Shroud colors, baby. Shroud colors. Well, again, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just taking a stab in the dark. That's what it is. So I'm not actually guaranteed that. But uh, we're going to go yeah. to something we've been holding on for a couple of days here from Sanction 101. Wanting to know some questions about some skills. Skills. Shroud math. It's, uh, some, some, some shroud math. Um. Okay. Well, let's see what happens if I delete. I didn't know what that's doing. Now let's go to this, and let's go with delete. I clicked on the. Fuck you, I detached this piece of shit. Um, <laughs> Sanction 101. Hi again, friends. When I started this game ages ago for a minute, and uh, currently, I thought skills could raise indefinitely. No, that was the the idea behind the game. Um, and this is exciting for me, but now that some of my skills are approaching and passing 100, I'm curious about this limit. I see others talk about reaching a point and locking this skill. And in another post I made, screenshots showed skills locked at certain points. Why wouldn't we want to take skills as high as we want as the skills descriptions display benefit gains to keep rising adventure skills? In what I could find out, diminishing return seems to be the only reason to lock adventure slash production skills at 100 or 150, etc. But as skills can raise indefinitely, why shouldn't I keep raising instead of locking a skill? On another note, since crafting skills do not display tangible benefits, how high should I raise these? My blacksmithing is 111 and tailoring 107 are still raising, but salvage is approaching 100. Should I keep raising? Why don't production skills display gains like adventurer skills? Shroud math. So, Shroud math. <clears throat> what is not answered in the very first one, message response, is there is a hard cap of level 200 for well, every that, skill. That gets answered in the second post. Third post. Th uh, the third se post. Se second answer. Second post. answer. Second answer, yes. Yes. Um, but Adam Crow with eventually the cost to raise a skill becomes too high compared to the benefit it produces. For example, if you have 150 fire specialization skill, it would cost 2.8 billion total XP to reach 150 and cost 282 million XP to get, raise it from 
150 to 151. Then to raise it from 151 to 152, it would cost 310 million XP. From 152 to 153, it would cost 341 million more. Now, Laz, I don't know if you have this uh, website bookmarked or not, but this will be very relevant. Um, Rinaldi with, I am relatively sure the highest possible skill level is 200. Yes, it is. However, raising a skill to near 200 is not practical because as the skill level's that high, the amount of XP to raise to re required to rise this, raise the skill does not really justify the minimal benefit you gain. Um. Okay, can delete, delete, delete. Yes. Yeah, slight problem. Specialization is oh, there. It is. I see that specialization. <clears throat> Sun magic speculation. Okay, so current level is 150. What are you trying to look at? If he actually did the right math there. Oh, okay. Uh, ta, 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 ta. 200 and... 200. Uh, no, that's not right. That's 282 billion, not million. Which which skill are you looking at? Sun Sun specialization under okay. uh, the su Sun specialization. Okay. He says he said fire. I'm look. Yeah, I'm sorry. Looking for fire, so, but I didn't see fire. Uh, fire magic. So, so he he go. was going from one fifty one to one fifty right? to one fifty one. Yeah, it's he's 282 million XP needed. Uh, okay, I see where it says that now. Okay. Yeah, the the needed is the far right column. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but, but okay. you're you're in the billions getting there, not uh Yeah. yeah. Y y yes, you have accrued 3.4 billion XP. Yeah. So, it it is one where it's like and the the increase in the skill level is like 0. 000 000 000 000 000 4, uh as uh, Dark Blue Monkey does say. It does add up. Um, so, Laz, what's your highest skill level? Oh, I have no idea. Uh, let me see. Um, My highest skill level, probably about 140-something. Yeah. Okay, I, I think mine is actually at 140, but I have a bunch of skills locked at 140. 145, I believe, is my highest. Okay, and, so... And that is Tame Creature. <laughs> what? Why would you Tame Creature 145? But yeah, uh, but let, let, let's go look at Tame Creature, right? So, in this chart... So you currently have 145. Okay. Right. If you wanted to go to 146, you need 8 million XP. Now, yeah. remember, there is a difference between active skill, passive skill, and innate skills, and then specializations. Okay. Um, active skills generally uh, level up much faster. So if you really wanted to get to 150, uh, so from 145 to 140, uh, to 150, you would only need 53 million XP, which is a few hours out at a control point where you're getting 15 million XP an hour. Um, But why would you have detect hidden at 163 dark blue monkey? That's insane. And I do know someone that that has like 190 something skill and like air shield. Um. But yes. Um. But 
if you turn around, remember specializations are like 16 times the cost of the XP. Yeah. But the Soda Lore website for the skill gain is absolutely awesome for you to sit there and say, hey, I have this skill at this level and I want to get to this level. How much XP do I need versus how much do I have? Awesome for turning around and planning your character a little bit. A little bit. <clears throat> All right, back little to bit, the top. A little bit. Back to the top. So, um, to be more specific, the higher your skill level, the greater the XP required to reach the next level, thanks to Shroud Math, and not only the diminishing returns, but XP is this ramp. Returns are this ramp. Oh, I, I would have said returns are that ramp. <laughs> uh, well, well, like, no, no, like the XP needed this ramp. The, the, uh, the skill improvement, this, this, until you hit certain skills like meticulous collection, then it becomes this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll give you that. <laughs> Where it falls off the cliff and it starts going backwards. But yeah. Um, Lock everything at 80. Well, I mean, does that really work anymore? I mean, if only you could really test that shit on QA server. Um, and so here he actually says, if your glancing blows 150 and you want to raise it to 151, it would require 14.2 million XP. If you want to raise your glancing blow from 199 to 200, it requires 1.52 billion XP. And since the benefits gains when raising a skill tend to be linear, each of the examples result in the same amount of benefit, one skill level worth, but the XP cost for that benefit is way more at the high skill levels. It's negligible. Yes. You can, and yeah, Soda Lore does allow you to actually save all of your shit. And you just this, have to this is log really, in really funny. If you create an universe avatar. chat, universe chat seems to be mirroring everything we're talking about today. Hey, man. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, Steve likes his XP pool at a billion. Hey, lads, what's your XP pool at currently? Oh, fuck that. Uh, my XP pool uh, is at uh, 63 mine, million. million. Yeah. 63 million. Yeah. Mine, mine's at mine's at fifty four million only because I've been farming, and then my crafting uh, is just a little below <laughs> eight million. Oh, uh, my crafting's at five, but yes. Um. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Yeah, and, and to burn it, definitely use uh, that obsidian potion, which you can always buy from technical difficulties on the NBNN Studios lot. There are several there. Um. The exact level you might consider locking depends on a few factors. How crucial is the skill for your build and your playstyle? I don't use death magic, but I raise some of the death skills in order to attain some uh, death resistance. So I capped my death skills at 100 because it provided decent resistance for a small XP expense. I am earth specialized, so I keep investing XP into those trees even up to level 160 and above, because those skills are more crucial to my build. <clears throat> uh, number two, how much XP do you have in your pool? At some point, I had about 2 billion XP in my adventure pool. 2 billion? Oh, so I had God. plenty of XP to experiment, <clears throat> and I started investing in some less crucial skills and experimented with various off-spec builds and skills. If your XP pool is more modest, which is like 90% of the population, then it may be best to invest in the skills that are more crucial to your build. I I am not a huge XP pool kind of person. I just burn it all down. Um, the benefits of some skills was will essentially max out at a skill level well below 100 or 200. If I recall correctly, summoning in the taming tree 
will offer no benefit if it is raised at above one level 123 or perhaps it was 124. So bring up your 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 taming skill tree real quick there, yeah. Laz. There's yeah. actually two yeah. skills. It's obedience. Obedience wow. stops having a benefit at 133. Summoning is the, the rate at which you can summon without a cooldown is really what that comes to. No, 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 no. That that one is a uh, uh, refresh. Mm. Refresh is the tamed cool creature cooldown. Okay. That's, yeah, but it, th there are a couple of skills. Yeah, because if you think of obedience, reduces the health at which a tamed creature will flee combat. And if it's at minus 100%, it will never flee combat. But who really has creatures fleeing combat, real realistically? Um. So there, there's a few skills that you want to cap because there are no benefits whatsoever after them. But summon, uh, I don't, I don't know if there's actually a uh, summon creature summoning. Is there? At what point does it stop? I thought it was like level 95 or something like that. Oh, wait. that That's based off of the level required by the pet in order to call it from the caller. And I think that actually stops that there's no pets after like 120 or something like that. I don't know so there's no reason to actually or... pull that back. Yeah. I, um, I didn't know it. I thought uh, 95 was as high as they went. No, 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 no. Uh, 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 let's see. Let, let's see. Da, 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 Is it this one that lists the pets? There, there's one that actually has. Uh, da, 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 da. That would there, be there's a cool a page... idea, Doc Blue Monkey. Yeah, well, I mean. Uh, da, 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 da. Come on. It, there there was a Oh. Soda Wiki page. Soda Wiki page that we want. Tamed pet summoning levels. Just scroll all the way down to the bottom. Uh there there's no real benefit because it stops at 99. Uh, again, I said 95, so yeah, yeah, ninety nine. I I thought there were some pets that were added after that. Yeah, no. Um. Yes, but the the maximum skill you need is ninety nine. So no point 99. going past a hundred. Ninety nine, because there's no pets that you can summon after that. So that would be one where okay, it's beneficial to lock the skill. <laughs> um. <clears throat> And 79 was yeah. the major cap until they added other stuff at one point. If you yeah. notice how many were at 79, that was the cap yes. until they added the higher tiers. And then they had 84, then they had 89, and then 89 just jumped to 99, nothing in between. So, yeah. Shroud math and shroud planning. Yeah. Um, And Conjure Dragon, there are tools like sodalore.com slash avatars that allow you to enter your avatar skill levels that display the XP needed for the next level or any level you designate. There are lots of reasons to stop training skills. Some people stop training at 100 for the Grand Master title of the, of the skill so they can mentor players with lower level skill and grant them the 10% mentoring bonus when in the same party. Uh, is old. I think for me, it's more of a question of priorities. Uh, there's a limited amount of XP in the ex experience pool. So I want to spend that in a way that most helps my character and my play style. Uh, but yes. Um, 
Uh, skills that I want to raise now are training and skills that are only nice to have are locked. That doesn't mean I never raise them. All set to training again when I have lots of XP to spend or when I want to start to feel the need for that skill. Some skills stay locked and I never raise very high. Uh, for instance, the riding skills. <laughs> I'm quite happy with my horse's speed at level 40 or so. Edit. Here's another example of when locking skills is very useful. When I want to open up a higher tier school but don't need meet the requirements yet, I lock all skills except the ones I need to raise to be able to learn the new skill. That way I can reach that goal much faster than when I leave everything open. Of course, afterwards I set skills to training again. And thank you for all the information. I thought it might be something like what you owe, but I couldn't ver find verification. What I didn't know was how much experience is going to be needed. Billions? Wow. Wow. I think I have to start wow. about specializing now too soon, as you all mentioned it. I just start training everything up till now. Hee <laughs> hee. That's fine. My wife are still exploring tier two and tier three areas. Does higher tiers area offer more experience to eventually start filling my XP pools again? Welcome to attenuation at 15 million XP an hour. Hey, baby. That's right, baby. That's right. Yeah, 15 million XP an hour when you need billions is, yes, welcome to farming XP simulator. Shroud of the, one. Let, let's hang out on the mm -hmm. airship. Yeah, Shroud of the Farm, a an area that has shit loot, and you occasionally get randomly one shot. Um, <laughs> yes, Tyrion. Because I, I get randomly one shot all the time when I'm out there for some odd reason. Uh -huh. um, <clears throat> yes. Uh, I had a few, few million XP stored from my last time I played, but it's almost gone now. It You will blow through it quickly. Rinaldi, in general, the answer is yes. The tier of the zone tends to reflect the average or usual difficulty of the opponents in that zone. However, sometimes there are creatures in that zone that are far higher level or lower level than the zone's tier. Cough, cough, tier two plus zone with mobs with 30,000 hit points. When the next cough, mob over cough, to it has 130. Nudge, nudge. Cough, cough, nudge, nudge. Shroud math. <laughs> Is that some fucking twisted shroud logic? Tier two plus may should be a tier three or four mob, not tier fifteen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, the conjurer airship is something that ought to be used only when you're already having achieved adventure level one hundred plus, else the rapid gain of XP and levels will make the lower and middle tier zones trivial. All of them are already trivial once you hit adventurer level 65 or 70 for the most part. Yeah. Um, Cleo, dude, is it worth coming back yet? Um, That's up to you, man. Uh, Episode 2 yeah. ain't here yet, so you make your decision based on that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're still on Unity 2018. Hasn't been updated uh, yet? Yeah. We're going to receive the 2024 roadmap after one more meeting. Um, <laughs> they started a project to revise all the crafting related things um, and they started by manually writing down every single recipe in the game in a single Excel spreadsheet. Is PvP any good? The no. PvP leaderboards say, what's PvP? PvP? Huh? What's PvP? Yeah. Yes. Let's, let's take a quick look at that leaderboard before we pull our final... Oh, yes, because it is that time. Player, player versus... It looks like Aeolus Sadara has been uh, farming some stuff for some cannibal stew, it appear appears. He's been farming um, Gorky. Yes. But 
Last 30 days, Falcon Minamoto, I believe that's Flair, yeah. has 45 kills and 32 deaths. Right, the whole and Lieber tw Lionheart. Tw tw 20, 26 people on that leaderboard. Yes. Oh, 26. man. I've been in top 26 for the last 30 days. Yeah. And Absolute Hermit going to get in a streamer bundle from me if I can ever figure out Absolute Hermit's in game name, which is Hawkwind. Which That's is right on there. the lot. Which means <clears throat> I do not have to do that. Uh, where Where is Hawkwind? Other chair. It's Who's getting your streamer side. bundle there, Laz? Final streamer bundle. It's fucking Lomir again. Oh. oh, man. Hey, you know who's getting a Steam key on my side? I don't know. Who's getting Jigoku. a Steam key? Jigoku. Jigoku is going to be getting a copy of How to Escape. If I can ever find her name. There. How to how to escape. Thank um, you. Generally, you just want to go through the door. Don't um, hide in the barn full of chainsaws. Yeah, that that's that's, that's good. <laughs> but that, that that is a fifteen dollar game. There All you right. go. They're so closing the giveaway, picking ourselves a wiener. And Super Drat Forever is going to get himself a copy of Hugh. Hugh on Steam. Yay! And uh, let's take a look. There we are. Steam. Hugh on Steam is fourteen ninety nine going out to Super Drat forever congratulations so congratulations to super drap enjoy and thank you waldo for your generous donation i know you're probably already on your way to your workout and everybody else out there <laughs> yeah because See nobody ever in uses a week them. and a half or something That's like that right. but meanwhile we're going on i'm going on vacation and i will be back uh, monday the 14th right here on nbnn so till then i'm laz i'm jack i'm Loman. and we are nbnn have a great week and we'll see you all when i get back bye bye and remember to turn on the radio this time